When it comes to step bits, there's a huge difference in price with the least expensive one we'll be testing only costing about six and a half dollars, while the most expensive one costing over 50. So is that $50 step bit really that much better than the least expensive one? Well, let's get the testing underway and see which step bit is the best. In the first test, we'll see which brand drills the fastest through mild steel, and we'll see if any are better than an ordinary twist drill. In the second test, we'll see which step drill is the fastest at drilling completely through medium hardness steel. In the final test, we'll see which step bits can drill through some AR400 armor plating and which ones will have a meltdown. The least expensive step bit we'll be testing at only $6.49 is the Harbor Freight Drill Master. They claim their cool running titanium coating lasts longer than uncoated bits. High speed steel for longer life. Automatically deburs holes while drilling. Two flute designed for faster, smoother cutting. Made in China. Fortunately, this drill press has a drilling speed chart. All of our step drills are either 3 16 or 1 quarter. So we're going to set this up for mild steel, which is our first test sample. And we're going to set this at 990 RPM. To set up our drill press to provide an apples to apples comparison, I want to make sure that we have the exact same amount of downward force applied on each one of these step bits. So I attached a wheel to the lever arms of this drill press. I'll be attaching a rope as well as some weights to this wheel so we have a constant downward force during the drilling process. With seven and a half pounds of plates we have about 52 to 53 pounds of downward force on the drill. To serve as our baseline I'll be using a very affordable twist drill made by DeWalt so we'll see how this compares to some of these very expensive step bits. Cutting oil could become a variable that messes with our results so I'm just not going to use any. While the most hardness test is not the gold standard for testing metal hardness it'll provide us with some great information. In the first test, we'll be cutting through a quarter inch piece of mild steel. Okay, nine seconds for the DeWalt drill. Testing the Harbor Freight Drill Master. Compared to the nine second DeWalt, the Harbor Freight step bit really struggled taking 51 seconds to penetrate the quarter inch mild steel. At a price of $8.85, the Nico Step Bit is the second least expensive brand we'll be testing. High speed steel, titanium nitride coated, 12 sizes for just one bit. Two flute design for smoother cutting, made in China. Even though the Nico had a smaller 3 16 drill size giving it an advantage, it was still no match for the less expensive Harbor Freight Drill Master coming in at 62 seconds to cut through the steel. At $14.99, the Bauer is very reasonably priced if it can live up to its claim that it lasts two times longer. Heavy duty guaranteed. Fast start, no walk tip. Black oxide. Made in China. The Harbor Freight Bauer brand claims to have a fast start tip. Unfortunately, it failed to impress, taking more than twice as long as the Harbor Freight Drill Master, which costs less than half as much. At $18.95, the Klein bit seems very reasonably priced for a step bit that's made in USA. Anti-skid tip eliminates the need for center punching or pilot hole drilling for most sizes. It uses a single flute design to allow for easier sharpening. At a slightly higher price than the Hercules, the Klein did a much better job than the drill master, Nico, and Bauer punching through the mild steel in 34 seconds and is now in the lead. At $19.99, the Hercules claims to contain cobalt, jam-free performance, spiral flute design, up to three times faster hole cuts, up to four times longer lasting, made in China. The Hercules claims to be three times faster and the marketing seems to be accurate as it totally crushed the less expensive step bits with a 17 second time and takes the lead from Klein. At $29.99, the Timo brand seems like a great price for an M35 Cobalt Spiral Flute Step Drill. I couldn't find any information on where this bit is manufactured. The $30 Timo bit simply amazed with its cutting speed nearly matching the DeWalt Twist Drill with an 11 second time, so the Timo takes the lead from Hercules. The Irwin Unibit costs $34.16. It's a self-starting step drill that has a single flute cutting edge to give more control and produce true round holes. Made in USA. The Irwin brand is a high quality tool, but the single flute design really held it back, taking right at 30 seconds to punch through the mild steel. The Makita costs $35.59 and claims to be a self-starter. It also claims to deburr holes with the next cutting edge. It's about one half the length of the competition and is only designed for thin material. Made in Switzerland. The Makita cut through the mild steel like a hot knife through butter in right at 10 seconds, taking the lead from Timo. 
Just like the Makita, the Bosch is also made in Switzerland and costs slightly more at $35.99. Unlike the other 12 brands, this one claims to be a turbo step drill, making it two times faster and lasting twice as long. The Bosch Turbo did a great job but wasn't fast enough to beat the Makita or the Timo. However, 14 seconds is a great time. The Diablo costs $35.99. Even though the Diablo has 12 steps, it only claims to make four whole sizes, 3 8 1 half, 3 quarters, and 7 8 inch. Split point tip for maximum speed and durability. Two times faster, four times longer life. Made in Switzerland. The Diablo and Bosch, both Swiss made, look nearly identical, but the Diablo wasn't quite as fast at 18 seconds. Kita holds on to the lead. The Dewalt costs $42.99 and claims to have an advanced double flute design. Unlike most of the competition, the Dewalt claims to be impact ready. It claims to offer two times the life compared to the Lennox. We're going to test that claim. Made in China. While the Dewalt brand didn't brag about being faster than the competition on its packaging, it demonstrated that it's the bit to beat totally crushing the competition, including the Dewalt twist drill with an 8 second time. At $44.19, the Lennox VB8 is the second most expensive bit we'll be testing. It claims it can handle stainless. Made in USA with global materials. The Lennox made easy work of the mild steel at 14 seconds, but was definitely no match for the DeWalt's 8 second time. At $54.97, the Milwaukee is the most expensive bit we'll be testing. Up to two times faster holes, impact ready. Made in USA with global materials. The Milwaukee did a very impressive job at 10 seconds, tying the Makita, but not enough to beat the 8 second DeWalt time. DeWalt spiral flute design and titanium coated yielded an 8 second time, while Makita and Milwaukee tied for second with a blistering 10 second time. $30 Timo proved to be a terrific performer at 11 seconds. The Swiss and US made straight double flute designs proved to be very capable at under 18 seconds. The $20 budget Hercules did a very respectable job at 17 seconds. Unfortunately, the single flute designed US brands and the under $20 budget brands really struggled taking two to three times longer in some instances in the back our brand taking 10 times longer than the fastest brand. I changed the RPM to 510 and we're staying with the same amount of weight, about 53 pounds of downward force. The purpose of this next test is to see how each one of these products handles this harder material, which is made of bed frame. It's also very thin at 1 8 of an inch. So each of these products, once they cut through initially, should be able to really make a lot of progress in a one minute period of time through this material. In order to advance to the AR400 armor plating challenge, the first level of the step bed has to fully penetrate the 1 8 inch medium hardness steel. Once again, we'll use the same quarter inch DeWalt twist drill to serve as our baseline for cutting through the medium hardness steel. Even though the steel is half the thickness compared to the previous test, it took the DeWalt three seconds longer. Let's test a Harbor Freight Drill Master first. Even though the budget DeWalt twist drill made easy work of the medium hardness steel, the Harbor Freight Drill Master wasn't able to drill through the steel and will not advance to the next round of competition. Testing the Nico next. The Nico really struggled with the mild steel and not surprisingly didn't make much progress with the medium hardness steel either. The Nico will not advance to the next round. Testing the Harbor Freight Bower next. Just like the Harbor Freight Drill Master in the Nico, the Bower wasn't able to drill through the medium hardness steel. Testing the Klein next. Just like the previous three step bits, the Klein wasn't able to cut through the steel. Testing the Hercules next. While not as fast as the DeWalt twist drill, the first step of the Hercules made it through the steel in 18 seconds and then it really made quick work until it stalled at 7 16 Definitely a vast improvement over the first three brands. The Hercules will advance to the next round. Testing the Timo next. The Timo was only a second slower than the DeWalt twist drill at 13 seconds, penetrating the steel and then cut through the medium hardness steel as if it were mild steel. Timo blasted through 11 sizes, making a 7 8 inch hole in only 23 seconds. Very impressive. The Timo takes the lead from the Hercules and will advance to the next round. Testing the Irwin next. Unfortunately, the Irwin, which uses a single straight flute design, just wasn't able to drill through the steel and won't advance to the next round of competition. Testing the Makita next. The Makita uses a double flute design and drilled through the steel in 17 seconds, but the straight flute design seemed to work against the Makita on the larger hole sizes, causing it to bog down at 11 16 The Timo holds on to the lead. Testing the Bosch next.
Posh Turbo actually drilled through the steel in 13 seconds, tying to Teemo, but the straight flute design seemed to really slow it down, resulting in a 25 second finish, two seconds slower than the Teemo. Very impressive job by the Bosch. Testing the Diablo next. I was really surprised the Diablo bit stalled out on the medium hardness steel and didn't make it to the next round of competition. Can the DeWalt take the lead from the less expensive Teemo? As a formerly disappointed step bit user, watching the DeWalt shred the medium hardness steel in only 15 seconds was rather enjoyable. DeWalt takes the lead, but can the double straight flute Lennox beat the DeWalt? The Lennox seems to be made of a softer metal compared to the other brands, and it showed as it took 34 seconds to break through the steel. Unfortunately, the straight flute design seems to have worked against the Lennox as it stalled at a half inch. Testing the Milwaukee next. Milwaukee appeared to get off to a slower start than some of the top brands breaking through the steel at 23 seconds and then got hung up at 26 seconds. I made several attempts to release the bit and then gradually reintroduce it without success. Just like the DeWalt, the Milwaukee bit is an impact capable bit and would likely have completed the test with the use of an impact driver. Once again, the DeWalt was the fastest at breaking through the steel at only 8 seconds, the Timo and the Bosch tied for second at 13 seconds, the Makita 17 seconds, Hercules 18, Milwaukee 23, and Lennox 34. All seven brands will advance to the next round of competition. Only three brands completely bored through the medium hardness steel, making a 7 8 inch hole. The DeWalt at 15 seconds, Timo 23, and Bosch Turbo 25. We'll see if any of these stud drills can handle this AR-400 armor plating. Well, it doesn't make a lot of sense to use a step bit to cut through some armor plating. This is a showdown video. To set our base on, I'll be using this Bosch 730 seconds twist drill to see how quickly it can cut through this piece of armor plating. The Bosch 730 seconds made it through the armor plating in 42 seconds. The speed is at 250 RPM, as slow as we can go, and we have over 200 pounds of downward force. Let's see if any of these step bits can actually make progress in this armor plating. With the first step at a quarter inch, the Hercules is at a disadvantage compared to the competition, but still made relatively quick work of the armor plating at 44 seconds. As the Hercules was breaking through the steel, it got hung up, so it did a very good job at a little over 40 seconds. The armor plating definitely caused some wear and tear on the Hercules, flattening the chisel and dulling the leading edge of the bit. The medium carbon steel tested earlier in the video also caused wear to the leading edge of the larger flutes. Before testing the Teemo, I cooled the steel down to around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The Teemo really impressed as it made very quick work of drilling through the armor plating in only 26 seconds, taking the lead from Hercules. Only minor abrasions on the Teemo's chisel and leading edge. The medium carbon steel tested earlier caused almost no wear to the leading edge of the larger flutes. With a much different geometry, this really wasn't a fair test for the Makita, but it still did a terrific job almost making it through the steel. There was quite a bit of wear to the chisel, but the leading edge of the drill and larger flutes showed very little wear. The Bosch is definitely a high quality step bit, but the straight flute design just doesn't seem to be nearly as fast as the spiral flute design at 41 seconds. With a 26 second time, the Timo holds on to the lead. Just like the Makita, the chisel seemed to suffer the most wear while the leading edge of the drill and larger flutes showed very little wear. DeWalt continued to taunt the competition with its titanium spiral flutes as it shredded the armor plating in only 20 seconds, 6 seconds faster than the Teemo. DeWalt takes the lead from Teemo. This is a look at the DeWalt after making two passes through the armor plate, which you'll see later in the video. The chisel shows very little wear and the leading edge of the bit and flutes look almost new. The metal used to construct the Lennox just doesn't seem to be as hard as the competition and it really showed in this test and the armor plating proved to be just too hard for the Lennox. DeWalt claims that their bit lasts twice as long as the Lennox and that definitely proved to be true in this instance. The armor plating completely destroyed the chisel on the Lennox and caused a lot of wear to the leading edge of the drill and larger flutes. Just like the Lennox, the Milwaukee also struggled to drill through the armor plating, which had me wondering if there was variation in the hardness of the armor plating. The Milwaukee did about the same as the Lennox. Just like the Lennox, the armor plating did a lot of damage to the chisel on the Milwaukee, but the leading edge on the drill and the flutes were still in good condition. Even though I bought the armor plating from a great source, I decided to go ahead and test the DeWalt again right next to the Milwaukee. Once again, the DeWalt just crushed it with a 22 second time. 
Okay, about 21 or 22 seconds for DeWalt. DeWalt is definitely the best bit we've tested in my opinion. It did a very good job cutting through this steel a second time in only 21 or 22 seconds. DeWalt once again finished in first, drilling through the armor plating in only 20 seconds, but the Timo finished in a very close second at 26, Bosch Turbo 41, and Hercules 44. Unfortunately, the Makita, Lennox, and Milwaukee weren't able to drill through the armor plating. I paid $30 for the Timo and $43 for the DeWalt. They look to be made by the same manufacturer. Both have the same spiral flute design. Even the etching inside the spiral flute looks identical. The DeWalt does have the titanium coating, which seems to have helped it perform slightly better. If you're like me, you've probably had a very disappointing experience with step bits and decided they just aren't worth using. I was really shocked at the difference though between DeWalt and some of the other brands out there. DeWalt really destroyed the competition. However, Timo, costing $13 less than the DeWalt, came in a close second. Really impressed with both brands and both brands performed extremely well. All the videos on this channel are viewer suggested, so if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment in the comment section of the video. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.